Hello everybody, today I'm gonna cover how to boot AIX from a take drive. Of course you need to have a take drive installed and configured and you need tapes, you need an AIX workstation or server and well some basic skills on how to operate the terminal, yeah? So initially we just grab a tape, insert it in and wait until the drive reports itself ready. Each driver behaves differently in this aspect, check the manual. And it's ready. Second step is to identify the tape device. I installed Bash in my AIX 7.1 installation just because I really hate the standard uh, terminal emulator. And here if you issue ls-dev-c-c space tape, you're gonna see what's the device uh, name of the tape drive. Here we have slash dev slash rmt0. So with that information in mind, then you just have to execute smith uh, make sys backup. So that's make sys backup, mk sys b. So initially we are going to enter here the tape device path that we identified previously. IBM recommends enabling create map files, so we are going to enable this. I'm not sure what the option does. We are also going to enable list files as they are backed up so we see what's going on. We also verify the readability of the tape device after the backup is done. We generate a new image data file to partition the drive automatically. Uh, we disable the software packing of the backup because this is going to be to be restored only in the same machine. If you need a portable backup, then you disable this option. Everything else is standard, and then after you're done, you just click or click, press enter to run, and the device is going to start running. My not so clean AIX 7.1 installation took approximately 20 minutes to backup, it's quite fast. Compression is done on the fly, and you can see the progress here of a bunch of uh, firmware files, freeware files going. After the system restarts, or well, after the backup is done, you restart the system, and then you go to the SMS menu at boot time. Well, log in with your credentials. Then you go to select boot options, install a boot device, go to tape, SCSI, and then you choose the SCSI tape, and you boot the service boot mode, that's very important. The tape's gonna take a while to load, and once it's it's done, you're going to be greeted by a standard AIX initial installation screen. You choose the active terminal as console. If you have multiple displays or you're using remotely, that will be available in different places. English is the language that was installed, so that's the only language available. And here you can run maintenance tasks if you need, so you don't want really to do a full recover, but recover only a few parts. But since here we're gonna do a full recover, then we will go for the start install now with the full settings. It's gonna pick the hard disk automatically, and once the restore is done, it's gonna mark it as uh, the active boot device on firmware. And, well, you click run, and wait.
it doesn't take really long with my 15k RPM discs and once it's done the system will reboot automatically and you'll be greeted by your system just as it was before it's the most effective system restore procedure I've ever seen uh, thanks for watching